Welcome to Comics Bazaar. This episode features X-Men number seven, cover dated April 1992, and it cost $1.25. So you see the cover here by Jim Lee, inking himself. Um, it's a split headshot of Wolverine on one side and Omega Red on the other. And this particular issue marks the conclusion of the four-part Omega Red saga. So the action continues in Berlin. Wolverine has um, been captured by a group called the Upstarts, which comprises Matsuo Tsurayaba, pictured there, and the Fenris twins. And this character here is Dr. Cornelius, who was involved in the Weapon X program. So he has a history with Wolverine and indeed with uh, tinkering with Wolverine's um, psyche as well as um, body. Um, so Wolverine is um, uh, hooked up to this particular machine whereby they are trying to get into his memories of a mission he was involved in in the 1960s when he um, retrieved um, a MacGuffin called the Carbonadium Synthesizer. We learn in this issue that um, the Carbonadium is um, a, um, a metal that is comparable to adamantium, but it's more malleable and cheaper to manufacture. And it is actually what comprises Omega Red's uh, coils or tentacles. And it also gives him a measure of control over his mutant death factor. So um, in this uh, splash page here, um, half sp splash page, we see the Fenris twins, Omega Red and Psylocke. And at this point in the story, Matsuo Tsurayaba has, um, has uh, uh, triggered a post-hypnotic suggestion um, um, in Psylocke. Uh, that gives him control over her. Matsuo Tsuriaba was involved originally in the transformation of uh, British-born Betsy Braddock into um, an Asian embodied uh, ninja warrior. So uh, they're discussing here Dr. Cornelius's progress in delving into Wolverine's um, psyche and unearthing um, memories concerning the location of the carbonadium synthesizer. So we get this um, flashback to Wolverine's being part of the team uh, that retrieved the synthesizer um, on the day that Omega Red was being created. Um, this character here is Victor Creed, Sabretooth, and this is the mysterious Maverick. We, we don't get to see his full face um, in these issues. So in the present, um, Sabretooth has been um, employed by Tsurayaba to capture Wolverine and um, he is bringing Maverick who's also arrived um, and is involved in what's going on in the present uh, to a prison cell. And um, the, uh, the hand um, uh, prison guards um, note quizzically that Sabretooth keeps repeating the same sentence over and over again nobody told me the kids the kid was out of sorts that's wolverine practically killed over before i got the chance to bruise him and we get an explanation of what's going on there later in the issue so here we have um uh dr cornelius uh um, amping up the machine uh to get deeper into wolverine's memories even though the process is killing wolverine and we learn that Wolverine um, deposited the carbonadium synthesizer on the body of the doctor they uh, rescued, but she was killed um, during the rescue, uh, that he put the uh, C synthesizer on her body and it's likely in her grave. So Matsuo Tsuriyaba learns this, he's delighted, and uh, then Psylocke attacks Omega Red and it turns out uh, that Wolverine's near death in the previous issue broke uh, Tsuriyaba's control over her. So she attacks um, Omega Red 
and um, he uh, fights back, uh, but she succeeds in um, in um, uh, sticking him with her samurai sword, uh, which injures him badly. Meanwhile, um, Dr. Cornelius sets off an alarm because Wolverine is about to break free. And at this point, um, Maverick uh, reveals that he hasn't been unconscious at all, that Psylocke, in fact, had psychic control over Sabretooth, and that Sabretooth is uh, under her control. And so they make their way to um, rescue the X-Men Blue team from the holding cell in which they are imprisoned. So Psylocke um, takes out Andrea Strucker. Um, she's still facing off against Omega Red, the hand assassins that are present, and um, Andreas struck her there too, but Soriaba knocks her out. That breaks her psychic control over Sabretooth, and just as Maverick has freed Beast, what happens is that Sabretooth um, um, strikes him from behind. But Beast is free enough to set loose Jubilee, who blinds Sabretooth with a light show. And meanwhile, Wolverine breaks out of um, his shackles and um, attacks Amiga Red. Great anchor image here. Um, I should have said that again, this is an issue in which Jim Lee is just doing breakdown, so those are very loose pencils. And um, Art T Bear is finishing the art and, um, and is adding a lot of uh, detail here. But we can see that there is an element of rushing going on um, and that um, some pages have more detail than others. Um, so some of them um, rather rushed, it would seem. But this is definitely one of the pages and this great anchor image here where T-Bear must have had enough time um, and decided he wanted to spend that time on um, finishing this really nicely, this image of uh, the X-Men Blue team with Maverick there in the background. So they come to the rescue, um, uh, Rogue taking on Amiga Red there. And what happens is that uh, they escape from the building. Maverick comes along with them and they escape on the Black, uh, Blackbird, the SR-72. Then there's a little interlude. Uh, in the previous issue, we saw um, uh, Alison Blair, Dazzler, she features, features here. Lila Cheney and Longshot escaping from um, Mojo's um, uh, clutches. And in the meantime, it seems, they led an insurrection against Mojo's rule of Mojo World, but it was unsuccessful. So Mojo has beaten Longshot here and Lila Cheney, but uh, Dazzler has escaped and it's her intention uh, to uh, bring back to Mojo World an army of X-Men. So that uh, plot line uh, gets uh, developed in issues 10 and 11, upcoming of the series. Then we get um, a three-page conclusion to the events in Berlin. So the X-Men Blue team are recovering in the um, German embassy in Berlin. Wolverine says he's got one last thing to do on his own. So Cyclops agrees to that. And the scene switches to a cemetery on the outskirts of Berlin. So Tsuriyaba thinks by digging up um, the doctor's grave, um, the female doctor's grave, they're gonna find the sea synthesizer. But Wolverine has uh, positioned himself in the grave and he attacks Tsuriyaba, cutting off his hand and killing the other hand assassins. Dr. Cornelius is also present um, and um, is uh, revealed uh, to Wolverine's confusion that they have a connection. Wolverine doesn't know and doesn't have any clear memories about the Weapon X program. But before Cornelius can say any more, Maverick uh, shoots him from behind. Um, so Wolverine gives Maverick the sea synthesizer, trusts him, and uh, Maverick uh, concludes uh, that um, he's grateful but Wolverine disappears and that is the end of this four-part storyline this Amiga Red saga introducing the Amiga Red character 
delving a little deeper into Wolverine's uh, mysterious past and introducing this new character also from Wolverine's uh, past, Maverick. So um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you did so, please like and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you again uh, for another episode um, on X-Men number eight uh, shortly. Thank you. Bye now.